one of the lights that I've always fancied was the Scout lights. Whether it was the single battery, uh, one, two, three, or whether it was the dual, it was just a matter of output. How much do you need? What are you trying to use it for? This one just happens to be their, their version that goes into an off mode. It runs IR and it runs white light. So for those that want a little bit of flexibility when running night vision, this gives you a pretty damn good flood. Uh, a lot of times what I do is I run a helmet mounted one for being on my four wheeler because I'm not worried about terrorists shooting at me. But at night when I'm running the dogs, I'm usually doing it in darkness and with a lot of the animals that are out between deer that I know they're going to go chase, um, coyotes and everything else. I like having that um, this IR capability attached to my helmet because everywhere I move my head, I can look and I can shine that light pretty brightly. So I would say between, depending upon the external work that you're doing and internal work, it's a really good option to have. Now, this version is an older version, and as we're all used to, it takes one, two, three batteries. Now, they have a newer version, and I know it really kind of sucks as technology picks up. You know, you're like, well, my old lights do that, and chances are probably not. Now, the cool thing is you can take this and put one, two, three batteries in it because it's got a dual capability, or even better, now granted, this new, battery system that you're seeing right here, this works on the new light only. And because it's a little thicker right here, it won't drop into some of your old lights. However, when you unplug it, drop it in here, you now can charge that battery directly. And I find that this is a huge cost savings. It, it's, it's real simple to do. Those that are in law enforcement or civilians where you always had that dedicated truck gun, whatever it is, uh, to be able to just swap batteries out is, is really, I think, a great thing. This is, in regards to this particular light, this is a 1500 lumen if you use this battery. If you use the um, uh, dual battery, it drops down to, I think it's 1100, just a little bit. And it's about 1.5 hours, so, you have a lot of versatility in this light right here. One of the things that I will recommend, uh, and I'll explain why here in a minute when I cover a handheld, is don't get on the plane with this, okay? Pop this out, I'll carry an extra battery in my backpack, um, but I do carry this kind of separate, uh, and I don't leave the wire attached to it. I, I'm not gonna say they're gonna do anything, but I know if this went through the x-ray machine, I would be kind of a little curious and probably pull you aside and try to figure out what was going on. So again, what you're starting to see is a chargeability with the Surefire lights that stem from one light to another light that become a series of lights that for those of us that don't want to spend much more money on 123 batteries, I think it's a good option. You do have the option to go both ways though. So in a pinch, if for some reason you did not have a good charge on that battery, you would immediately be able to drop in some 123s if you had them. Uh, and have that light capability. So certain lights that Surefire uh, does are dual capable. 